Well, it's getting late. I should probably get you home. I meant, your home, at Elliott Bay Towers. Oh Niles, I've had a lovely evening with you. Oh, hello Martin. How was your evening with Eddie? Oh, it was good. We watched a western movie. Eddie didn't bark until the showdown at the end. Well that's nice. I'm still trying to take in this evening's events. I can't believe I actually went out with Dr. Grind's brother. Yeah, that was a long time coming. I've kind of got a bit of flies in me stomach. I think I could really fall for Niles. As his father, I'm glad to hear that. Would you care for a drink, Daphne? Oh, thanks. But I think I'll better go lay down. Tis a bit light. Good night, Martin. Good night, Daph. I'd better call Roz and tell her the good news. Hello, Doyle residents. Ella Roz, she's Daphne. I've got great news. Did you finally meet a man? <laughs> well, in it why, yes. But I've known him for a little over a year now. Oh? Who is he? Anyone I know, huh? Oh my gosh, you went out with Fraser's brother? Yes. I always kind of suspected he had a bit of a crush on me, but I didn't want to go dine that tried with a newly divorced man. Well, Daphne, I want to say I'm happy for you, but Niles? But Roz, he's actually very sweet. Let's go for drinks tomorrow. I want you to tell me all about it. Hello, is anyone home? I know it's late. I was at the station with Bibi, trying to figure out some marketing strategies. Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> Fraser, it's Niles. You won't believe what happened tonight. Shall I take a guess? No. No, let me tell you. Today when you were at work, I went out to Cafe Nervosa to meet our dad. I see. And that's your news? <laughs> no. But Daphne came along with dad and Eddie, so when he was getting our coffees, I almost asked Daphne out. And then you chickened out? No. I got interrupted by Dad, kind of like you're interrupting me now. I'm sorry, Niles. You may continue. Thank you. So I was about to ask her out, and then Dad intervened on purpose. Daphne decided to head home and then Dad asked if I love her. Okay. I do love her a lot, so I told him so. He gave me his blessing, and I came over to your place around 5 p.m. and she answered the door, so I asked her out then and there. She said, yes. I noticed you weren't home yet, though. Yes. I was at the station with BB all evening. No, it's not what you think. We were just discussing new marketing ideas to get my listeners back. So you actually went out with Daphne tonight, hey? Yes, Frazier, and I'm still on cloud nine. I wish I had never gotten married before Daphne. I think she is the one. Well, Niles, let's not get ahead of ourselves. After all, this was only the first date. Excuse me, Dr. Crime, are you talking about me? Oh, 
Hi Daphne, Niles just phoned here and told me he went out on a date with you. Is this true? It is. Your bros is something else. <laughs> Fraser, isn't that Daphne's smooth voice I hear in the background? Yes, it is Niles. Would you like to speak to her? My brother wants to wish you a good night. Oh, he's so sweet. Hello, Daphne? I just wanted to let you know. This evening was one of the best nights of my life. When can I see you again? Oh, Niles. On Friday this Saturday night. So now you're on a first name basis? Just yesterday you were still calling us both, Dr. Crane. <laughs> then I shall pick you up at 7 on Saturday. Good night, my angel. Wh? Who?